This woman is mentally ill. You know, we can look back in a time in history where people were told to wear a gold star and they were definitely treated like second class citizens, so much so that they were put in trains and taken to gas chambers in Nazi Germany. And this is exactly the type of abuse that Nancy Pelosi is talking about. In case you were wondering what Marjorie Taylor Greene was comparing to the Holocaust, mask mandates. That's what she said was comparable to the Holocaust. Now, thankfully, for her sake, she had a second chance to correct the record and walk back that idiotic statement. So let's see how well she does. The American Jewish Congress has expressed concern over your comments comparing mask mandates to the Holocaust. Do you stand behind those comments? You know, here's what I, here's what I stand by. We shouldn't be having this kind of treatment. No one should be treated like a second-class citizen for saying I don't need to wear a mask or saying that my medical records are my privacy based on my HIPAA rights. And so I stand by all of my statements. I said nothing wrong. And I think any, any rational Jewish person didn't like what happened in, in Nazi Germany and any rational Jewish person doesn't like what's happening with overbearing mask mandates and overbearing vaccine policies. Do you understand, though, why some would be upset and offended by the comment? Well, do you understand how people feel about being forced to wear masks or being forced to have to take a vaccine or even have to say that whether they've taken it or not? These are just things that shouldn't be happening in America. This is a free country, and it's just ridiculous to have these kind of conversations. Bro, she's literally not backing down. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, I just have to say, no, it is not a violation of HIPAA to ask for someone's vaccination status. That's incorrect. But I mean, if given another chance to correct the record via Twitter, perhaps make some sort of a public statement, what is she going to do? Well, of course, she's going to triple down. So she tweeted out vaccinated employees get a vaccination logo, just like the Nazis forced Jewish people to wear a gold star. Vaccine passports and mask mandates create discrimination against unvaxxed people who trust their immune systems to a virus that is 99% survivable. You know, the Nazis had pieces of flair, but they made the Jews wear. What? Just keep tweeting through it, Marjorie. I'm sure it'll get better. I'm sure that the backlash will start to dissipate after a while. I mean, she's just, it's its almost impressive how stupid this she woman is. woman is mentally ill. She genuinely is so confident in the idiotic assertions that she makes. And in a way, like, I kind of admire it. Like, who has that much confidence to so boldly say something that wrong, but say it as if you're, you're correct and everyone else in the world is uh is wrong now because she keeps saying melodramatic and moronic things like this even house gop leadership is coming out and condemning her including mitch mcconnell as well as house gop leader kevin mccarthy who states marjorie is wrong in her intentional decision to compare the horrors of the holocaust with wearing masks is appalling now in that statement which we're not going to read he goes on to basically say but what about the squad They've also said terrible things. They've said anti-Semitic things. I mean, that's what they're trying to do. Whenever Marjorie Taylor Greene says something terrible, they'll invoke the squad to make it seem as if they're equivalent. They're comparable when that's not actually the case. Like, she's the individual who floated the conspiracy theory that's anti-Semitic about some sort of Jewish space laser being responsible for the California wildfires. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. This is a former QAnon conspiracy theorist possibly current QAnon conspiracy theorist. So, I mean, there is no bottom to how low she'll go. Like, sky's the limit, or I should say, floor is not the limit. <laughs> That's probably more appropriate. But Marjorie Taylor Greene is making Republicans look so bad that even Ben Shapiro Hold up. decided to publicly denounce her on his own volition, saying via Twitter, this is demented nonsense. It is nothing like the Holocaust and any comparison there too is both insulting and insane. I mean, when you're a conservative that loses even Ben Shapiro, then you know you've messed up. Now, I know what you're expecting here because she did respond to Ben Shapiro. You're probably thinking, well, well, I'm sure she just did what she's been doing. She probably quadrupled down and said the same exact thing. Actually, she took a turn here. She did a little bit of a pivot, and now she's just denying that she invoked the Holocaust, 
when discussing mask mandates. I'm not kidding about that. She says, I never compared it to the Holocaust, only the discrimination against Jews in early Nazi years. Is that so? Is that so, Marjorie? Uh, can we get a fact check on that, please? This woman is mentally ill. You know, we can look back in a time in history where people were told to wear a gold star and they were definitely treated like second class citizens, so much so that they were put in trains and taken to gas chambers in Nazi Germany. And this is exactly the type of abuse that Nancy Pelosi is talking about. Mm hmm. So, yeah. You know, it's really funny to see Republicans like Kevin McCarthy and Mitch McConnell come out and denounce her and make it seem as if she's crazy and they want to separate themselves from her. Here's the thing. This is the logical conclusion to the Republican Party's pandering to crazy people. For years, these are the types of folks who you've appealed to, and little did you know one day they might rise up and run for Congress and possibly take over your party one day. I mean, this is the Republican Party. You could try to distance her, all you uh, distance yourself and your party from her all you want. But the fact remains that the base sides with people like Marjorie Taylor Greene over individuals like Liz Cheney. Now, Liz Cheney is bad. She's objectively a bad person. If you think that war is terrible, then I think objectively it isn't necessarily something that is uh, very controversial to say. But people in the Republican Party are siding more with individuals like this and Donald Trump. So this is the bed that you made, Kevin McCarthy and Mitch McConnell, and now you're having to lay in it. Now you're having to deal with the repercussions of a crazy person making you all look like buffoons. Well, you shouldn't have pandered to these types of individuals. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene did put out a thread where she says the word sorry at the end of it, but at the same time, she still kind of doubles down. So she doesn't necessarily want you to think that she's not sorry for comparing mask mandates to uh, Jews and them being murdered during the Holocaust. Having said that, though, she doesn't necessarily feel that bad about it. And um, yeah, we'll leave that there. Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, is going to continue to say and do crazy things because this is a crazy person. And if you think that she is like the last... Uh, of what Republicans have to offer in terms of ghouls, I mean, I'm sure in 10 years, we're going to think that Marjorie Taylor Greene looks sane in comparison to what the Republican Party has to offer down the line. I mean, it wasn't too long ago when we all thought it was inconceivable for someone like Sarah Palin to rise through the ranks of the Republican Party and actually become prominent. But then Donald Trump became president. Then Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Greene, QAnon conspiracy theorists, got elected to Congress. So if you think that this is as low as they can go, think again. This individual could become president. This is America. Donald Trump did get elected president. So I'll leave that there. Marjorie Taylor Greene once again proving that she is absolutely verifiably insane, but uh, very proud of the stupid things that she says. This is Dunning-Kruger in action. This woman is <laughs> mentally ill. Tremendous, 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 tremendous